Good morning, let's go before the throne. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for, you for the week that has passed by. We thank you, Lord God, for waking us up this morning, being able to do everything that we normally do by ourselves without any help. Thank you for our right frame of mind. Thank you for protecting our houses and neighborhood as we slept through the night and all surrounding areas. Every sin that we've committed on this past week that was unlike you in any way, I repent on behalf of myself and the entire world and all connected to me and ask that you forgive us, Lord God. Please continue to keep us protected from these demonic spirits through television, through movies, through people, through anything, Lord God, that is going to knock off us off of this path with you, Lord God. Continue to give us a revelation for every song that we listen to, for every movie and TV show we watch, for every person we run into. Show us their heart, Lord God, so we can determine whether they are of God and or whether they are of, of, of Satan because we know that there are a lot of lying preachers, a lot of lying people, and not everybody that talks about you, Lord, comes from you. So help us and strengthen our discernment, Lord, so we can be able to determine who is on your side and who is not. Lord God, we just thank you for everything that you've done for in our lives, Lord God. Thank you just for us being alive. I continue to pray for those in the hospitals and ICU. Thank you for blessing them. Thank you for working a miracle inside of their bodies. I pray that they come up a new creature. Thank you for removing those foster care children out of those abusive and toxic homes and replacing them in homes where they need to be. That shows Christ's love, Lord God, and not the toxic and ab toxicity and abuse that they are used to. Thank you, Lord God, for the recovering of all drug addicts, Lord God, of all alcoholics, of all pimps, of all prostitutes, Lord God. Thank you for the recovering of those who are sick and who are sick and shut in, Jesus. For those who still are getting COVID and all of its variants, Lord God, we ask that you do a right now healing, Lord God. For all of those who are struggling finance, financially, I ask that you open up a window, Lord God. Bless them this week, Lord God. Let them see an abundance like never before and provide them with everything that they stand in the need of. Everywhere that we may go today, no matter how short or how far, we ask, Lord God, that you give us safe travel and mercies to us from our destinations. Bring us back home to our homes safely without hurt, harm, and danger. Guard the hands of the driver and the areas that they may drive through. I ask that should any of us go to church today, whether it's virtual or online, that the word that is spoken pricks our hearts to convict us and to fix what's in ourselves so we can have a better relationship with you. We're thankful for everything that you've done. We magnify you, God, because you are powerful. We know that you sit high and look low. We understand things don't work in our timing, but we also know that things work on your time and that your timing is on time. So help us to be patient in the waiting, Lord. As your prophet Isaiah said, they the weight on the Lord shall renew their strength. We're asking you, Lord, to help us to fix ourselves for whatever we are waiting on, Lord God, and help us be able to stay on the potter's wheel and not jump off when it gets uncomfortable. Continue to show us us and our flaws and help us to not be so quick to judge and criticize others. Continue, Lord God, and forgive us for those who do that, Lord. Forgive us for those for those of us who are quick to jump on somebody's for the mistakes. Forgive those of us, Lord, who make it hard to forgive. Forgive us for not forgiving. Help us to open our hearts, circumcise our hearts each and every day so we're able to love one another, Lord God. For love comes from you. And if we can't love the men and women that you made in your image that we see, how can we love the God that we can't see? So just help us to draw closer to you in every aspect, Lord. We can never be perfect in this world. It's impossible, but we can be perfect in Christ. So perfect us, Lord. Perfect us, mold us, and shape us, Lord God, in the way that you want us to be. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.